Well, all good things must come to an end, and that was exactly what happened today. Um, it has finally became time to break out our dehumidifier and put it into use. And I was kind of excited because this one always has a nice startup sound. And when I went out to plug this thing in and I turned the humidistat on to run, what happened was the fan sped up, but the compressor sat there making a clicking noise over and over again. And I had no idea why it was doing that. Um, and I believe it has gave up the ghost finally, which is kind of sad because this dehumidifier... Um, I have taken really good care of this dehumidifier over the years, as you can tell by how good of shape these coils are in. But to see it just randomly die is just kind of sad. This is a Whirlpool Gold dehumidifier from, I believe, 94. I'm probably going to take this neon light. Um... I'm currently trying to build a dehumidifier out of parts I've gotten from the scrapyard in hopes that um, I get a working dehumidifier. So I'll probably make a follow-up video to that. Um, but um, this took me by surprise to start this thing up this year to find that it didn't work. Um, there are some good copper in here. The thing's in relatively good condition except for going through a few basement floods. Um, I did take the humidistat out for another dehumidifier as well as the fan fan motor assembly. This had a Emerson fan motor in it, and I don't know what brand of compressor this is. Which I will try to tip the machine backwards so you can see. I don't really know, but it does run good old R22. Maybe a Masashita compressor? There's a drain switch back there. Um, I keep this bucket because I always find these units without buckets. This one had a bucket. I do need the little piece to go on here. Um, I have a... This one had had, drill, had holes drilled in it. Um, I had a brass cap that went on here. But I don't know what happened to it. Being that we had it set up in such a way that we just had it dripping into a sump pump. But, um, this year I was going to run it with that brass cap on it. Instead, I just, um, I put the bucket on it and just ran it like normal with this off and then had a little tray underneath of it dripped into for the time being just for testing purposes. But I never got a chance to get around to getting it working. So that's kind of sad because I really wanted this one to work. I have to find that brass cap. If so, I'll probably send this off to Jordan New if I can because he has a Kenmore dehumidifier that is similar to this one that is missing its bucket. So, if Jordan New, if you're watching this, um, if you want it, you can. I'll let me know or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty sad to see this dehumidifier go. But thank you very much for watching and have a great day.